Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Floss TV Africa. That was a very interesting conversation with Dakbo Subana. And yes, I think we have a, a lot of uh, we have a lot of respect for that guy now that is gone and has been here already. Because yes, um, you know, apart yeah. from his music, you can actually place a personality to, to the music. And I think um, you know he did justice to that and he really killed it. But what yeah. do you think? No, I think so too. Very grounded. I like that mm. he's taking this thing very seriously. Mm. I know vibes is good. Mm. Vibes is good for for creators and like artists mm. and stuff. But it's also refreshing to see someone take that vibes mm. and also just make it look more serious and more professional, sure. like putting an emphasis on, on intentionality and even just going to school yeah. and all of that. And, yeah, I mean, being surrounded by art as well, because yeah. a lot of people just see like, ah, when it's music, is music. When it's painting, it's painting. When it's that, you know, consign me. But, you know, this guy wants everything in the same space. And I think that's a you know, good yeah, that's way cool. to That's cool. I mean, it's, it's, right. nice, it's a nice style. To Question, have, what do you have to say? I know, Sina, your guy, say something nice about your guy. Are you ashamed to say something nice about your guy? Nah, they, you should check out the EP. <laughs> no, yeah. you should I like the title too. I, like the, I remember I love the everything. I love I the EP. I remember everything. And, I remember uh, everything. The, That's the, a nice title. The, the, the track titled, I mean, yeah, the track titled uh, part of the EP is actually my favorite. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So moving on, yeah, we still have um, maybe one or two more stories for you guys. So we'll start with um, David O's aide, Israel DMW, who has thanked DJ Copy for dropping the lawsuit she filed against him. DJ Copy had filed a lawsuit against Israel for libel and defamation of character. In a video posted via his Instagram page on Friday, March 19, 2021, Israel thanked the billionaire heiress for dropping the suit. And yes, this was a very funny video. I don't know if we have that video so that we could show show it to you guys but uh, all right but um if we don't have that available i think we can just you know reenact <laughs> it for y'all <laughs> this is your guy is a vibe now i feel like it's cruise if it, you remember who was telling us that this guy is just using them to catch cruise now that all those things we're talking about it and we're talking about the video zlatan david and israel made and we said they were laughing at israel that he, he was apologizing mm. and then that person said See, these people are using these people to catch crews. Who's using which people? Which people? Are That's making? them. The um, Israel is using them to catch crews with all those pr um, frustrating, you know, going on his knees saying I'm sorry. You know, they're saying, they're saying that the guy is just you can't shame the shameless. So he's just using them to <laughs> <laughs> to, <laughs> to catch crews. I mean, but now that he came out with his towel, you know, sitting down. In front of some alcohol brands and stuff, doing advert at the same time, time to it. I say, I'm really excited. You don't know what this is. <laughs> you know, like, it just feels like it's cruise okay, now. Okay, we see, I would believe that it was just cruise, but that's how Israel has always been with everything. True. So I feel like he's just staying in character. Like, even when this thing wasn't that serious, when he was quote clothes. unquote. But has Happy Dog? <laughs> this towel thing is always he's a cruise. Uh, he's on but, cruise but vibe. He's always on towel now. Calm down. Uh, uh, he looks like he's auditioning for one of those Canario Canario <laughs> <movie>. ritual movies. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't get I mean, it. I've now. seen Israel in Tower so many times. Yeah, so many. Like, you're not saying, bro. Mm -mm. Okay. The, you want to tell us? Ages ago, when they, I think there was a song that came out, the video song, and then they were his people were making rounds. You know how they used to do now when they get very excited mm. about his stuff or whatever. The first time I think I, I fell into his thing was he was like dancing. You and fell stuff. into Israel's thing. Into his guy, social he, media space, yeah. you know, it was oh. a thing of like, I was this one. I remember thinking like, why are you in your tower? Like, what's going on here? I mean, the guy is cruise throughout. So I don't think he all of a sudden just wore cruise cap just for um, DJ Copy and her um, and her people. But I'm not gonna lie, there's an atom of like, you know, gesticulation going gesticulation mm. going on mm. because after the whole thing, he would do hmm. I don't know if you've seen that part. But he'll do hmm on everything that concerns DJ Copy. Just H M M M M M M. He just has a hmm. Yeah, you don't say anything. And he did that everywhere. No, the part that killed me was then he said, anything about you or anybody else, I'm not putting my mouth. That part killed me. Because I just feel like this guy now, he's just being sarcastic in a way. No, he means it. He's just a joker. I don't think so. I don't think it means it. Trust me when I see that guy is happy that he's not gay. And I was telling him that, oh, bro, you were right, but glad he was not the one because him. if he was him, he would have told you, yes, no, I told no. you guys. No, I mean, you trust me to I be yes Do you think that, you, you don't think that he's actually happy that um, Copy has dropped the suit and everything was just cruise? I don't think there was even going to be a suit in the first place, to be mm. very honest. I don't think it was 
was that worried. Yeah. I don't think he was that worried. I, I think, think it was, was just the public. Worried. I think it was just the public that was worried for this guy. But somebody said that um, they um, exiled him back to Benin. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's posting <laughs> on Benin. <laughs> they told him on one condition, you can't come to Lagos again. <laughs> so I mean. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Israel is just vibes, last, last. Actually, it's, it's last just vibes. Year. It's just vibes. But we're, we're glad um, you know, the billionaire heiress <laughs> has forgiven. Um, it, was, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was weird when I saw that post, the DJ copy post. So you know, I, um, uh, I told my lawyers, I, I, I could read, I was like I was watching something. It was like I was looking at someone. What Although it was just say? a tweet. What could you say? This is, but oh, you think she was I wrong told, in any I way? Told, don't you um, think he, the guy? Don't you think he messed up? He messed up. Yeah, he did. He did in one part, right? But everything else, I don't think he was wrong. Okay, so ha, I, we the part was the reference to the, the song gelato. gelato. Song. Yeah, everybody knows that. But yeah, that was the only. That's issue the only thing me. she's also like going yeah, after. Though, yeah. So. Okay, so what's your issue with her her ride up? No, it was just, it was just too... Well, because she has the money to do so, it's Yeah, no, you understand, they pay me, I did tell you. <laughs> so I told my lawyers already, ah! I, read, I read it with an accent. Right. And I told my lawyers already um, to drop the lawsuit filed against Israel, because he's, he's a little boy. <laughs> and we just overlook all of these things. Because, you know, he's not really because worth it. Because I am Beyonce. Uncle, uncle is a little boy. Okay. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I, what I liked about this well, whole uh, thing that Copy put out there is the moral of the story. I hope you have all learned. <laughs> Did you guys see that part? Mm. Where she we reminded us that there's actually a lesson here, guys. It's not free. Yes, now you have to pick it's your pick the people. It's, it's not, unnecessary. So. It's not, I don't please. think it's, it's unnecessary. Not, it's I think this necessary. is the problem with the industry. The fact that we think these steps are unnecessary. Necessary. That's no, not no, no. That, that phrase. I hope you've learned. It's no, not him. I right? think she was to everybody. To everybody. Oh, no. Who you the test? Yeah, Plus you, now. Me, no go talk. Plus you as well. Pick on Jabo. I'm going to take that. You can say things about people. I'm going to worry you. Well, on behalf of Plus TV Africa, his opinion is his opinion and does not belong to Plus TV Africa. We should be on Instagram with a big tower. With a big tower. I'm very, very sorry. But when we... But wait. At least they exiled it to Benin. Where will Kwesi be going? And he's a Lagos boy, right? He's like a day for you. What's he's a day Lagos. What's wrong with you people? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what Lagos I learned? Do you need Kojama the last one? My brother. Anyways, anyways, we need to move on to the next story because, yeah, we're running out of time and we won't touch on everything as quickly as possible. So, popular music producer Samuel Oguachuba, popularly known as Sam Clef, um, tenders public apology to Afropop singer Simi after slamming her for correcting him. This is coming exactly 13 days after the producer and the model of one had an exchange on Twitter over sexualizing statement at, of the singer Thames. In the heat of the exchange, Sam Clef referred to Simi as a snake and an ungrateful individual who pretends to things. be an angel <laughs> amongst other things. <laughs> yes, and the producer has however made the video to tender an apology to women at large for his ill comments. Have we forgiven him? Let's come to effect. He made apology to women. Wait, can the woman talk first? No, see, mm -hmm. uh, I think let me speak first, please. Let me speak first. Because the woman you the woman you said the woman you said Nigerian producer Samuel so that oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Not this guy again. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Saying I I didn't see this coming is like the biggest lie in his life. Mm. You know? Yeah. Obviously, he was going to happen. He was going to apologize. Then why did you even do it in the first place? Do you understand? Because the action is the real truth. The apology is a... It has yeah. to. Like, it's obviously gotten pressure from people to say, bro, like, the right thing to do is to apologize. But is that it guy really? did it with his full chest. Yes, absolutely. You think he's gen... You think... You really think... No, I just think Quincy, people can change... Do you people, really people think can, that yes, Sam Clef is yes. honestly apologetic I about... I didn't say Sam Clef. I just believe that people can bloody change. But do you think that he was speaking based he's on... He's people. My business with wait, 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 wait. He's the people. Hold on. I don't okay. know Sam Clef So I want to ask you a question. Do you think he was reacting based on the best he knows? He, maybe he didn't know better and he's at the chance to have a conversation with somebody no, that wait, has schooled him. About what? And exactly. now, about how to talk to women, about mm -hmm. how it's derogatory, about some of the things you said are really derogatory. What if that was his truth? And now he knows better and is apologizing with his full chest. Because, like every other human being, we all make mistakes. Change. <laughs> full stop. Sam Clef has not, this is not the first time. I don't understand. You live in his house. It's not the first time. I don't understand. <laughs> 
He don't apologize. It is not the first time that, he that this say guy wrong and has apologize. said tones to women disrespectfully. But he has and apologized. So, if I beat you today and I apologize, tomorrow I beat you again and I apologize, tomorrow I beat you again, I'll tell you that I'm learning. Do, you does that count? Does that really count? Are you acting like, like the yes, children here? You know, Just because a grown man says he's sorry, he has changed. Are you... I'm so we're not acting like children and 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 we're not acting I the answer you now. That's not. That's not. A I'll give him a an benefit answer. of doubt after the apology. I'm saying you are not giving him a benefit Jesus of the doubt at all. Not at all. All right. So he stole your sweets. Maybe he did. Endo. Endo. I did tell you. I Honestly, tell you. Um, I feel everyone has a right to change. I mean, it's just really simple. Oh, I said this, I said that, I said this. I just went over the tweet all over again and it's like, oh. Like, uh, while Guys, I was, it's not a tweet. Why was, are you acting like this? Why, it's not, why, like, you and the videos and everything. It's not exactly. Yeah, yeah, and more yeah. and more. He dragged yeah, but that you thing. See, but you he see, was acting in his element. You see, everybody knew he yeah, was And even you, you're even, you're even speaking for him. He even in his apology person. that he's tenoring now, he, he didn't even apologize for what he was saying. He said that he let his emotions get the best of him and he didn't articulate what he wanted to say to see me and all of that, all of that properly. Exactly. So why are you not speaking for the man and acting like as if no, the man has completely changed from the from the thing that he is sorry about? Because what he's sorry him about? What? No, doubt. no, you're speaking for him. What he's sorry about? We're well, not putting, speaking. We're giving him a benefit you of are doubt. Wait, wait, wait. For no. him. Okay, so so what he's sorry about? I'm it's his emotions, wow. like that. The fact that he well, went you're not speaking over. for him. That's what him at all. he said with his own hands. That's what he tweeted, guys. Mm. Okay, so he. So I'm not speaking for him. I'm saying what he said. Okay, so what did he say? I just repeat. I just said it. Are you so listening or not? Could you? Could you? Guys, business and the big. <laughs> eh? I'll talk some clear. Ah, no, you One chance. Anyways, you clearly, you anyways at, at we hope, me, um, so you know, no. Sam... It's fine, we, it's fine. we hope Sam Clef has learned his lesson, and um, we hope. Um, what what, we what hope is this about learning lessons? The I think you just said it. now that we should, he has learned his copy lesson. Copy tweets, and yeah. everybody now is learning lessons. Yeah, we hope he has <laughs> learned his <laughs> lesson. Sam Clef is not learning lessons. Not what you were just saying the whole time, Quincy. No, we were just joking changed. about this. This was just, he has you know, changed. Was this just, is, you see, she's Why are you so, for she's so on the edge. She's so on the edge. Like, she wants to get at me. You know, she wants to. Last. Anyways, we like have no to go, guys. We have to go. But we hope we Sam Clef has learned his lesson. You know, speak to women, you know, all in, a, in a better way. Be like Ife and speak to women. Speak to everybody manners. in a better way, please. It's Thank not you. only women. Women are not the women not be the only race. Um, really. the women, the woman was smiling, you know, they want only them to be spoken to. Well, you see how well balanced we are. This kind, mm. this kind, wow. this kind extreme. Woman was smiling like, uh huh. So I speak to us. Anyway, that is a wrap for me, but um, for, for me today. But so thank you for watching. Now. What? I didn't know that did the show. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> Join the conversation <laughs> on social media <laughs> with the hashtag <laughs> Tea Time <laughs> or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes. Please don't look it over time. <laughs> Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one, and all of our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel. I would have loved to say a big thank you oh, to my co-anchors, but it's like I did the show all by myself. So thank you, fellow Aushike. Thank you, fellow Aushike. We have a lot of viewers on our, on our, on our Thanks, what's it called? Go check out the link. And thank you, Dark Boa Tabana, for being here with us today. That was quite a vibe. And my name is Ife Oshunke.